In today's video, punks, we are painting. Welcome, YouTube watchers and creators. This is your art bad day, Vasu. As you can hear, guys, I got a new mic and I am very excited about it. All right, so thank you, all my subscribers, for the love. And I want to start without wasting any time. Let's begin. All right, my people, we are using acrylic paint. I mentioned the colors already on the screen. Brush sizes I will mention on the left-hand corner. And now we are using a palette knife right here for a change. First step, big brush. We're gonna apply phthalo blue side to side, quarter of this canvas from the top. And then we're gonna rinse off our brush and mix white with royal blue to create a sky blue color. And now guys, we have to start our light blue and blend that light blue into that phthalo blue. Starting with the white now, from the bottom, I'm gonna lighten up that light blue more. Increasing the white more to get a better blend. All right, I'm gonna wipe out my brush and then add even more white and fade that blue into the canvas using medium brush. And I'm gonna create a lighter blue tone for my clouds. So watch very carefully. I'm dabbing with my brush more horizontally, like I'm moving towards the middle of the canvas. All right, guys, I'm gonna dab around and make sure I add more clouds. I'm just dabbing. All right, my people, let's become an Aladdin with a painting brush and explore the other parts of our sky. sky. Now guys, I will take white and add some accents on my clouds. After that, we're gonna clean and wipe our brush, the big brush, and then I'm gonna feather down with very loose pressure. Watch my hand, how much of a less pressure I'm putting on the brush. And I'm gonna feather this whole skyline with the clouds, sort of create a blur around it. All right, guys, I'm going to add super dark clouds on the sky with phthalo blue. Take yellow ochre with clean big brush and apply about a quarter of this canvas with yellow ochre coming from the bottom going up. Let's clean the brush. All right, guys, let's take that burnt sienna and I'm going to move my brush more sideways and let's create a stroke right on the horizon line. Ooh, an unwanted drip. What? But never mind, you have to keep pulling that brown paint from bottom right towards the middle of the canvas. Then we will apply crimson in the same way we did the brown and then slap some more yellow ochre over it, blend it around to create like an interesting shade on our ground color and then blend it more on the horizon line as well. Now I'm mixing brown with black, pull a horizontal stroke and then an angular stroke, couple of vertical strokes and fill the structure in and then I'm gonna add some more horizontal strokes now this is the base color of our rock formation and now I'm gonna do some distant rocks a rocky mountain like a little hill it's a desert so we have different type of ancient rocks 
and then adding some more hills, adding some black as a contrast. And then I'm going to take crimson and add some more ground color, moving my hand horizontal. All right, now let's use the palette knife, guys. I'm going to take yellow ochre, right? Hold up, hold up, hold up. We are entering in the domain of this guy. He knew the best how to explain this step that I'm going to do. But I will try my level best how to explain this palette knife technique. All right, guys, the first idea is to apply the paint and pull it downwards. I'm using yellow ochre mixed with some little bit of white. My friends, we are using knife to get drastic range of contrast to translate rocky textures. So I'm going to play around on the slope of the rocks as well. Perfect. As you can see how awesome of a texture I'm getting with the knife. And then I'll use burnt sienna to translate all the shadows in between. They're more towards the right. And I basically will play around with yellow ochre mixed with white and apply it more towards the left. Imagining my son hitting the rocks from the left and casting a little shadow on the right. So you have to basically imagine your rocks from a distance and just basically have fun with it. I'll go back and forth to adjust and readjust things. Some more burnt sienna, I'll pull it down. You can see it automatically feels like there's a shadow being casted somewhere. So to translate all of that, I think knife is the best way to go, especially for rocks and mountains. Not here guys I'm smoothing out the rocky features with the palette knife and I'm now moving on the ground itself to give more textury look with whites ochres and crimsons in it I'm gonna mix green with a little bit of black and then flick these little strokes Perfect. to depict the bushes and somewhat vegetation in the desert. Now little highlights with medium brush. Just adding white in my yellow ochre and add a little bit of crimson in there. Final touch up on my rocks. Wherever I feel it needs a little bit more help. I'm going to finalize it. guys this is the final result and i hope you guys had a good time watching this painting being manifested 
and uh, if so yeah give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to hit that beautiful red button called subscribe and hit that bell icon as well so you will be notified that whenever I'm dropping my new video so guys have a good one till next video sayonara bye bye ciao